missing hiker needs to be located or, or people in a downed aircraft need rescued, the U.S. Civil Air Patrol takes action. News Channel 18's Brittany Tyner joins us now with more on what it takes for the Civil Air Patrol to prepare for situations like these. Brittany. That's right, Kristen. Volunteers with the Lafayette Unit of the Civil Air Patrol put in several hours during a search and rescue training session today, but those hours pay off when disaster strikes. Cadets with the U.S. Civil Air Patrol specialize in air and ground searches, but in order to become good at what they do, those cadets must train. That's exactly what they did Sunday at the Purdue University Airport. Lieutenant Tim Curtin says putting cadets in real-life situations prepares them for potential emergencies. We conduct search and rescue, counter-drug missions, uh, reconnaissance for homeland security. Um, it's unique in that we have both cadets ages 12 to 18 who are trained as well as senior members 18 and older. Curtin says Sunday's training mission involved a missing hiker search and rescuing people from a downed aircraft. He says part of training the Civil Air Patrol included partnering with other agencies. Today is the first time we've operated with the TEMA MOC as a joint venture. We are looking to see how we can operate together and interoperate during actual disasters. Pilot of the mission training plane, Jeremy Hostetler, has been flying a plane for 16 years. He says his job in Sunday's mission training was to fly the plane safely. For me as a mission pilot, I'm, my responsibility is to fly the airplane and look for traffic so the observer and the scanner that are flying with me can do their job safely. Lieutenant Curtin says mission training takes weeks of planning. He says the planning is worth the payoff. That payoff means more cadets are prepared to handle dangerous situations. Lieutenant Curtin says nationally the Civil Air Patrol has 550 aircrafts and 900 ground vehicles. He says that's a good fleet in times of need. Brittany Tyner, News Channel 18. Brittany, thanks. Well, it was